Okay, so my Wingland plans to go up to Hans Stanton. It's about 10.30 in the morning. Frosty, it's starting to thaw out though, so uh, wing's probably getting wet, so I can get going. See you up there. Clear prop. So it's Friday the 14th of January 2022 and taking a trip up to Wingland for the day. So I've got two flights today. I'm just going to show you the first one to Hunt Stanton. But by the time I got there and got set up and everything, it was 10.30 takeoff. And um, the conditions were great. So quite light winds, two, three miles an hour, something like that. Temperatures around zero degrees C. And um, so I'm going to fly over towards Kings Lynn at altitude and um, fly over the city there and then come down. There's some, I can see looking across the horizon there's some fog so what I want to do is fly over Kings Lynn have a look at that place and then come down near the fog and fly along the fog bank just for some uh, cheeky low flying so this here is a place called Barclay Farm uh, it's a listed building I really like it it's got a, got a motor around it kind of looks a bit like a castle and then I continue on to, so the plan from here is to fly along the fog bank and then go over to Castle Rising. But on the way over, I spot this little monument here. I've not seen this before. And uh, I looked it up and it's, it's an old church called the Church of St. James. So it seems to have been ruined probably 100 years ago or so. So on my way now to Castle Rising, a 12th century medieval castle. And then from Castle Rising, heading up the coast to Hunstanton. So this is Castle Rising here, built in 1138. And next to it is the village of Castle Rising. The village kind of built up around it. And this is the old church at uh, Babenley, which is also ruined. So last week I actually fitted my speed bar for the first time so I thought um, I've got a headwind and why not get the speed bar over to the coast and deploy that and I was absolutely amazed at the difference a speed bar makes and I've been flying for over two years now and I've not really used a speed bar before um, but the speed difference was incredible. I have to use a lot more power so I'm not really keen on the, the noise levels and in, in, January, in January at this altitude um, you get a lot of cold air in your face but uh, in terms of covering distance quick, it's brilliant, but uh, burns a fuel as well. So quite a few negative sides to it, but um, if you want to get somewhere quickly, uh, it's absolutely brilliant. As you know, I, I love flying low. Uh, actually, I love flying at all altitudes, to be honest. I love flying high and low, above the clouds, two feet off the ground. It's all great. So I thought I'd get along the beach here. There's hardly anyone on the beach, so um, just a few dog walkers. It's really lovely to, to be out uh, along the beach on this beautiful day. So this here is um, Heacham Beach. So I'm flying along here, there's no one around. I know there's a footpath on the left, so I think why don't I just uh, have a quick cheeky fly along that and then um, I'm kind of on the way back to England Airfield now. I've been up for about two hours at this point. So, and I'm not actually that cold, so quite surprising. I've got my heated gloves on and lots of layers. So I'm going to fly back now to England Airfield. So there's the airfield. If you enjoyed that, hit the like button. It helps other people find the channel. I've got some high-res photos in a minute taken with my fancy camera so if you want to see those just stick around young mark afternoon is it nice up there beautiful stunning isn't it absolutely amazing yeah absolutely amazing yep. yeah really lovely it's great absolutely brilliant 